Build as a companion experience to Ronson's Apple TV Plus documentary, Watch the Sounds. The instruments and loops in this pack aim to emulate many of the sounds covered on the show. I've watched a couple of episodes so far and it is pretty good. Being able to dive into the app and immediately mess around with the sounds being discussed on screen in real time does certainly make me feel like I'm living in the future. If you don't already have Apple TV Plus, then fear not. You'll find a link to it right there in the sound pack's description. Congratulations, Apple, and hooray for increasing your premium service revenue by aggressively shoving advertisements into your most popular iOS app. I guess. Whatever. In this pack, you will find 200 Apple loops, six drum kits, 25 keyboard patches, 30 audio recorder patches, and one live loops grid. As always, the best way to get a feel for what a sound pack has to offer is by firing up its live loops grid. Less dance music-y than you might expect, there are some great real instrument sounds here. The six drum kits on offer here can be loaded up as electronic kits that you can tap out a beat with manually. Or loaded into the beat sequencer, where there are specific patterns for each available kit. The most exciting one for me being the In The Kitchen kit although they all sound great and are really usable. The Apple loops on offer here range from full-on mixed snippets of finished projects, to some really cool and usable real instrument loops. The saxophone and bass loops included are particularly excellent, and overall the sampled instrument sounds in the Watch the Sound pack are a welcome departure from the almost exclusively synth-based offerings in previous sound packs. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying this video and finding it helpful, then please take a second to go and give that like button a wee bit of a tickle. I'd really appreciate it. So to the keyboard patches, and these are a bit more of a mixed bag overall, to be honest. Some of them do sound a bit stock garage band. while some of them do genuinely sound great. The standout here is undoubtedly Mellotron Flutes, a faithful recreation of the instrument used in seminal Beatles classic, and definitely the first song you tried to play when finding this patch, Strawberry Fields Forever.
You'll also find 30 audio recorder patches in this pack. This is a first for a sound pack. We've never had audio recorder patches added before, and these are definitely a welcome addition. The distorted presets and golden era plate reverb patches in particular ring my bell. You need a change, a different view. You need a change, a different view. Turn the same old into new. Mark Ronson's Watch the Sound Pack is one of the best of the eight sound packs that Apple have released in this update. I'd highly recommend you fire up your iPad or iPhone and get stuck into these patches, loops, and drum kits, because they are banging. Oakfelder is a world-class producer who has worked with the likes of Demi Lovato, John Legend, and Rihanna. Out of all of these new sound library additions that have came with Apple's massive garage band for iOS content drop. If you make mainstream pop or trap music, I think you'll really like what this pack has to offer. Let's dive in. Included in this pack, you will find over 460 Apple loops, four drum and beat sequencer kits, 17 keyboard patches, and one live loops grid. As always, the best place to start is with the live loops grid. So you'll find that Oak's Live Loops Grid differs slightly from other producer packs. Instead of a fully formed track that you can trigger different parts of by tapping different columns, Oak's is exclusively rhythm based. This might seem a little bit underwhelming at first, but this approach actually might make this Live Loops Grid properly usable in a real life project. Set one of the columns off, hit record, and you've got yourself a great sounding trap slash pop beat going. Good stuff. Loops wise, we're really spoiled for choice with over 460 of them. Ranging from some proper tasty drum and percussion loops to some silky smooth piano and keyboard sounds. To a collection of killer synth leads. There are some really properly good sounds to get stuck into here, and you'll almost certainly find something you like. Oak has added four new drum and beat sequencer kits with this pack. And again, as we seem to be finding out, everything drum and or percussion flavoured in this pack is generally excellent. There's nothing too crazy or out there in these kits, just solid and usable drum sounds. I did notice that the beat sequencer patterns provided for these new kits are a cut above the vanilla patterns.
We also have 17 new keyboard patches in this pack, ranging from expressive and lo-fi pianos to lush, dreamy pads. And classic synth sounds. you're pretty much guaranteed to find something here that'll float your boat. Again, there aren't any zany left field keyboard sounds here, just solid and usable keyboard patches that'll sound great in a variety of different genres. I really, really like the sounds in this pack. I feel like this might be the most well-rounded and usable collection of sounds in the recently released packs. It almost feels like a get started with pop sample pack that you might find on somewhere like loopmasters.com. All the building blocks you need to create a great sounding pop record are right here. It's fantastic. Synths, synths, synths. Whether it's stock sounds in the Alchemy synth or shiny new patches added in sound and producer packs, there is no shortage of amazing sounding synths in GarageBand for iOS. Decent guitar sounds, on the other hand, are a bit harder to come by. The new producer pack from guitar legend Mark Lettieri aims to fix that. Let's dive in. Mark Lettieri is a virtuoso guitarist, composer, producer, and Grammy Award winner. Best known as a guitarist for Snarky Puppy and the Vulpex side project, The Fearless Flyers, Mark is an inventive player who pushes boundaries in almost every genre of popular music. Having said all that, Mark's producer pack is a bit of an anomaly. This pack features over 230. Apple Loops, one Live Loops Grids, and that's it. The Live Loops Grid consists purely of guitar sounds that sound good when played together. And while they do sound great, there's no denying that, you'll need to add other sounds, loops, and beats to fill out any tracks you want to create with this. On to the loops then, and there being only 230 of them may seem a little bit disappointing, but these guitars are bloody spectacular. Unlike other producer packs released recently, the sounds in this pack will complement other sounds from other packs very well. You won't be able to create a track from only the sounds 
in this one pack. Now, I'm mostly okay with that because the guitar sounds on offer here are great. Now, your mileage may vary with this pack depending on whether or not you like to create with loops or not. I found that chopping up these loops and slapping on some mad effects went a long way to adding an extra bit of spice and life to the sounds in this pack. For example, I'd highly recommend experimenting with GarageBand's built-in amp designer and pedals with these loops. The vast majority of them have been recorded fairly cleanly, so adding things like phasers and chorus and even distortion to these loops can change the feel of them dramatically. So yeah, content wise, you're not getting as much in this pack as you have from other packs that have been released recently. Personally, I love the sounds in this pack. The loops that are here sound great, but it is a little bit of a missed opportunity. I would have loved to have seen some extra amp presets added, for example, kind of in the same way that vocal presets were added in the Mark Ronson pack. Bit of a shame that. Tom Mish is not only a multi instrumentalist, producer, and jazz aficionado, he's also the only one of these producers who can pronounce GarageBand correctly. My producer pack is now available on GarageBand, and with GarageBand, there's GarageBand. If lo-fi, soulful, jazzy instrumentation is your thing, I think you'll find that Tom Mish's producer pack will be right up your street. Tom Mish's producer pack includes 135 Apple loops, three drum kits, 10 keyboard patches, and one live loops grid. You know the drill by now, the live loops grid is where to start. And Tom's grid, more than anyone else's, lets you know exactly what you're in for with this pack right away. <music> Laid back, chilled jazz sounds are the name of the game here, with a smattering of lo fi character. Note the incredible saxophone sounds as well. We'll come back to those later. The three drum kits on offer here, a go-go funk, lo-fi funk, and uptown flow, are deceptively understated with some solid core drum sounds on offer. The beat sequencer pattern assigned to Tom Mish's drum sounds is pretty straightforward too. Though I found that slapping his kits onto other patterns sounded far more interesting. On to the loops then, there are 135 here that range from divine piano sounds
two fantastic saxophone loops. And a selection of crunchy classic breaks and drum patterns. The saxophone loops here are phenomenal. They've been performed really, really well and don't sound like lifeless stock sounds. Same goes for a lot of the jazzy piano and guitar samples. Everything here is just brilliant. The 10 keyboard patches supplied with Tom Mish's producer pack are a bit of a mixed bag. The standout for me is the ghostly reversed organ, a lovely ambient keyboard sound that I can't wait to use in a project. Other keyboard patches like the deep bass Tynes electric piano and Drumy smooth vox are also great and very different from the stock keyboard sounds found in Vanilla Garage Band. This is a great wee pack that gives GarageBand users access to a lot of jazz, soul and R&B sounds that they wouldn't otherwise have access to. While the drums may be a bit underwhelming, the rest of the sounds on offer here are top notch. The piano and sax loops in particular sound great and will be loads of fun to flip into your own arrangements. And that ghostly reversed organ patch is just, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's up there with Oakfelder's harmonic scream synth patch in terms of sounds that I just can't stop playing with. If laid back, chilled, lo fi sounds are your jam, then the Track Girl producer pack will be right up your street. Shikari Linder, aka Track Girl, is a songwriter composer and producer who has added some of the very best real instrument loops and beats to be found in these producer packs to GarageBand. In Track Girl's producer pack you will find 150 Apple loops, 4 drum and beat sequencer kits, 10 keyboard patches and 1 live loops grid. Now, Track Girl's Live Loops Grid may defy your expectations a little bit. There are some great and lovely sounding piano sounds in here, coupled with brilliant beats that we'll talk about a bit more later on.
on to the drum kits then, and the best place to give these drum kits a whirl is in the beat sequencer. Unlike some of the other packs where the beat sequencer seems to have been a bit of an afterthought, it seems like Track Girl really gets it. Every kit has its own beat sequencer pattern, and they've taken the time to really dig in and do interesting things with those patterns. Loopwise, you have access to a heady mix of unique synth sounds. Some incredible lo fi guitar licks. and some truly gorgeous piano loops. If you are in any way, shape or form interested in creating down-tempo chill beats, then the loops that Track Girl has added to this pack are definitely worth a second look. On to the keyboards then, and the FX sounds in particular are really unique when compared to other keyboard sounds in other packs. And that makes sense as I'm pretty sure these were captured using GarageBand's sampler. Hear how the sample gets faster or slower depending on the notes played. That's a dead giveaway. Bar those though, there's not a lot here that I found that interesting personally. There are a whole lot of bass sounds and not really much else. Don't get me wrong, the bass sounds here do sound great, but they don't really float my boat. The few synth lead sounds that are on offer here do sound pretty darn good though. As I mentioned, the drum kits and beat sequencer patterns that come with this pack are phenomenal. But that's not all. The sampled sounds and loops really help this pack stand out from the rest. And if you're into lo-fi or chill hop or whatever the kids are calling it nowadays, I think you'll find a lot in this pack to like. GarageBand's selection producer pack is a wee bit different from some of the other packs we've covered so far. If you're unfamiliar with selection, it's essentially an LA-based independent record label, radio show and niche collective of like-minded DJs and producers. Headed up by DJs Joe K and Andre Power, this pack includes sounds and samples from three of their selection producers. Does the unique nature of this pack and the way it was put together make for a more varied selection of sounds that you'll want to use? Let's dive in. In the selection producer pack you will find over 440 Apple loops, 4 drum and beat sequencer kits, 19 keyboard patches 
and one live loops grid. Our first port of call, of course, is the live loops grid. On offer here is a selection of soulful, hip-hop flavoured, silky smooth down-tempo beats and loops. The four drum kits in the Selection Producer Pack are made up of some pretty straightforward real drum kit sounds that sound great whether you're tapping out a rhythm by hand or loading them into the beat sequencer. It's quite rare that I find myself spending a huge amount of time with the loops that come with these packs. But the samples that come with the Selection Producer Pack are just bloody brilliant. And I think they're the standout feature for me. Before we go any further, if you're finding this video useful and or helpful, then go ahead and give that like button a little bit of a tap. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. Cheers. There are 19 keyboard patches included in this producer pack that range from gritty bass synths Two shimmering synth pads and very usable electric piano and straight up synth sounds. Nothing here is dreadful, that's for sure, but also nothing really jumped out at me as being incredibly unique. Your mileage may vary though depending on what genres you'd like to work with. If you're a fan of soul or hip hop, then I think you'll find that there's a lot here to like. I think of all the sounds on offer in the Selection Producer Pack, the loops are probably my favourite part. 
That's not to say the drum kits and keyboard sounds here are awful or anything, they just lack that wee bit of uniqueness, as I mentioned earlier, found in the instruments in other producer packs. The loops here though are definitely exceptional, and fair warning, you might just lose a few hours of your life tinkering and playing with these sounds. Alex Ridha, aka Boys Noise, is a Grammy Award winning artist and producer who has worked with the likes of Lady Gaga, Mark Ronson and Frank Ocean. His producer pack is a heady mix of glitchy industrial EDM sounds that is definitely not dubstep. And then one of my best friends, Sonny Skrillex, Sonny Skrillex, Skrillex, Skrillex. It's dubstep, isn't it? It's definitely not dubstep, by the way, thankfully. In the Boys Noise producer pack, you will find 240 Apple loops, four drum and beat sequencer kits, 10 keyboard patches, and one live loops grid. Alex's live loop grid doesn't go as hard as you might initially presume, and includes a good mix of software instruments and real instrument samples. Just like Track Girl did in her producer pack, Alex has put in proper effort to his boys noise packs beat sequencer sounds and patterns. Crunchy, heavy drum sounds are the name of the game here, and if that heavy hitting EDM drum sound is what you crave, then I think you'll find a lot here to like. To the loops then, and I'm kinda split on these to be honest. On the one hand, there are some sounds that I really, really like in here. And there are some that I don't. Some of the drum loops and toppers in particular don't really do it for me. Having said that, if you're making angular, gritty, industrial dance music, all the building blocks you need are right here. Keyboard patches then, and Alex Ridha has really doubled down on the grit with this selection of synths and basses. Guttural basses, check. Filthy arpeggiated effects, check. piercing, alarm-like sound effects, check. I actually really like the sounds that he's created here. Yeah, not all of them are the most melodic patches in the world, but I don't think that's the point really. These keyboard patches are really, really tactile, 
And if you take a second to stop and tweak them a little, you can end up with some unique and exciting results. So on the face of it, there's not a lot here for you if you don't make glitchy, industrially dance music then, right? Well, I'm not so sure. More so than any other, the boys noise pack is full of its creator's character and is jam-packed with sounds that producers creating in a particular genre will find genuinely useful. Me, I just like messing about with some of the weird and wonderful keyboard patches. Plus, it's great to see another producer pack creator properly utilize the beat sequencer. Extra points for that. Known best for their work on hits by artists like Lil Nas X and Kid Cudi, David Barral and Denzel Baptiste, aka Take a Day Trip, are one of the most sought after production teams in music. Growling bass sounds, epic synths, and banging drums. You'll find all of that and more in their Garage Band producer pack. Let's dive in. The Take a Day Trip producer pack includes over 200 Apple loops, six drum kits, 24 keyboard patches, and one live loops grid. As always, first stop is the included live loops grid. This is a delicious laid back mix of snappy hip hop kits and dream pop flavoured synths. The six drum kits on offer here range from straight up snappy hip hop jives to crushed, almost glitchy beats. If you prefer to tap out your beats by hand or finger, I guess, then I recommend starting with the Washington or Burlington kits, as these are, in my opinion, some of the most usable and diverse drum sounds in any of these producer packs. On to the loops then, and these range from deep and dirty 808 bass sounds to fantastically subtle melodies and a selection of crunchy classic breaks and drum patterns. There are some really deep and almost melancholy sounds here that really jumped out at me. 
There's a real mixed bag of loops here and I think most people will find something that they like. The 24 keyboard patches on offer in this pack are really, really varied and, on the whole, brilliant. There are a large selection of bass sounds to get to grips with, and several top-tier synth leads. This is a really great pack that doesn't really fit into a specific genre or description really, and I think it's all the better for it. Like I said before, there's something here for pretty much everyone. The drums in particular stand out as a high point for me, and a lot of the keyboard sounds here are fantastic and really, really usable as well. 